very simple way to put it, and it is very simple, is that the earth is hot. The deeper you go into the earth, the hotter it becomes. There's been lots and lots of time and energy put into extracting hot water from the earth, extracting that water, and then pulling that heat energy out of the water to make electricity or to use it for heating has been done for a very long period of time. The difference with Eber is rather than finding water in the ground that it's hot and extracting it or pumping water into the earth, having it commingle with the rock and then extract it as, as it's become hot, we simply pass water through a set of conduits, a set of drilled wells that we put to the ground, like a radiator in your car. We can really go anywhere and just put this, build this massive radiator into the earth and extract the heat directly through, through a conduction-based system. All other geothermal that most people will have heard about would be convection-based. We are conduction-based. We are touching the rock. We are extracting the heat directly from the rock rather than extracting hot fluid from, from, from a formation. We drill two vertical wells, identical to any oil and gas well that you would think it would see, down to, depending on where you are, appropriate depth. Once we're in there, we then go multilateral. We spread out, we fan out. A good example would be 12 different multilaterals. 12 laterals off the first vertical well, 12 laterals off the second vertical well, and then at the toes, at the end of those lateral sections, connecting them directly. We don't mean get close, we mean connect. And so, in the process, you can go down one vertical well, spread out, slow down your fluid flow, which is just water, through that lateral section, through conduction, soaking up the heat, get to the end, do a bit of a U-turn at the end, continuing to soak up heat into that same water coming back the other direction, and then up the second vertical well to surface where you like, use the heat through a heat exchanger to make electricity or for heat directly. But we don't use any of the power or energy that we create to run pumps to circulate the, the, the water through the system. It circulates itself. There is one main competitive advantage, and summed up quite simple word, scalability. Traditional geothermal requires a certain set of circumstances to, to exist, a constellation of what is usually quite rare circumstances in order, for, in order for it to work. And you don't know until you drill and find out when you have the subsurface. With an Everloop, we know anywhere we put it, then it, it works. We will we'll, we'll mine heat from the earth. The deeper you go into the earth, the hotter it is. We know this is, we know this is, a, this is a system that will work. So we can put it anywhere.